Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to your love reading. This is a love reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is an all Virgo channel. So if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, just remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, just take what fits and leave the rest. And personal reading links are below this video or link if you would like to get a private reading with me okay so let's get started virgo and i'm going to do the celtic cross so you know the past position seven of pentacles the present strength and the challenge is the knight of cups wow driving the reading is the star crowning is the nine of pentacles the seven of wands for the near future your advice two of swords the other person, Nine of Swords, Hopes and Fears, Ten of Cups, and the outcome is the Queen of Cups with the Death card. Okay, um, so we have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces to start. Okay, um, hmm, you know what? Hold on, I just want to pull a couple of extra cards here. Um, I want to pull a little bit more for your person. Okay, that just flipped out. If it's meant to come out, it'll oh, pop up again. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. All right. Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo. Your Virgo drama should be on Netflix, should be a series, right? Maybe they'll, maybe they'll give me a spot. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What are your love messages? Okay, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, true love, and let your friends help you. Oh, they said just get one more. And chemistry, okay, listen, I'm shuffling. This is day three with this card, the chemistry card. So this is the continuation of the saga. Okay, there is somebody. Um, you're, there's something here. I feel like somebody really wants to try to get to know you, um, like who you are deep down inside. Um, a romantic connection for sure. A true love connection here. Somebody's very intrigued and interested in you. Very attracted to you at this time, Virgo. Um, you might be getting set up some friends might be setting you up or may have set you up with someone okay um and this might just also be consoling with friends about a love relationship maybe something you're currently in or somebody new you could possibly be meeting but we'll see if it ties into the reading in one way so the past position um a lot of contemplation in the past whether or not to invest, whether or not to do something, um, whether or not to keep investing, um, patience, hard work, and uh, a lot of waiting in the past, and a lot of delays because somebody was processing, somebody was thinking, um, trying to make a decision, um, you know, waiting for this tree to grow. It's like a watched pot never boils. So uh, it feels like a it feels like a put on hold, something something was put on hold in the past. Okay, yeah, the chariot. Yeah, this, this was it. Whether or not to move forward, to take action, to make big changes, whether or not to travel somewhere. Cancer energy, um, whether or not to take a journey, it might have had something to do with, is there enough money or uh, weight? Wait to see um, what's going on in the world. It's a pentacle card, so wait to see the cost of something or the price of something. Okay. Virgo, I feel like this might be the person that you've been connecting with. It, but it's an energy between the two of you. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to just be the cost of something. It just is overall an energy of should I should I or shouldn't I should I stay or should I go processing processing trying to wait trying to figure out what's the best what's the best route um what's the best way that kind of thing 
Um, okay, hold on, my sleeve is like popping out. So the current energy is strength, and this represents courage. So Virgo, I feel like there's somebody, or there's an energy here between you and another person where somebody is getting up the courage to make some kind of a love offer to you or proposal of some sort or ask you on a date. Um, you guys, I'm having a sleeve issue. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm settled. Um, gaining the courage and the strength to make a proposal or some kind of offer to you or vice versa. So the Knight of Cups energy sits in the position of an obstacle, a challenge. Um, strength is all about courage. I feel like this also might have been somebody in the past, okay? So does it mean it's your ex that was like horrible to you and that you don't want back? No, it just is an energy of someone in the past or some, it's in the past position. It doesn't mean a past person, okay? Um, but there was an energy of somebody trying to make a decision, I feel, contemplating. And I feel like what this is, is do I have the courage to come towards Virgo and ask Virgo or make a proposal or offer my love? Okay, Prince or Princess Charming. This is a romantic proposal. And let's get this strength card clarified. What is going on here? Why is strength here? Clarify strength. Ooh, Two of Swords. Yeah. Overcoming a stalemate situation, Virgo. Making a decision. This person is making a decision. To be brave and to and to overcome the obstacle and the challenge um hmm. i feel like you just have someone that perhaps just wasn't sure not so much sure about you but sure about making this huge change in their life could have had something to do also about having to relocate um for some of you it's buy you a car for your birthday oops spoiled the prize surprise <laughs> if you have a birthday coming up um, there might be like, they want to buy you a car. I just heard that. Um, if you don't get a car for your birthday, Virgo, don't, don't be upset with me. I'm just the messenger. Okay. So again, with the sleeve issue. So what's driving this reading is this person wants healing in this connection between you and them. Definitely the star energy, renewing this connection, um, bringing about hope again. Oh, this is a miracle. This person wants to make a miracle could be also about um for some making a decision to start a family or have children for some of you but let's take a look at this star this can also be making a decision to go public because the star can represent a public figure okay you could be dealing with someone who's a public figure or vice versa all right let's take a look what is this star energy here it also feels like you know pouring back and nourishing this connection pouring the cup of the emotion wow the knight of swords here this person's very determined to get in to try to find a way to heal your connection here okay very determined to try to find a way they want to bring healing and renewal back into the back into this relationship nine of pentacles is crowning this person in their mindset they're pretty much used to being solo, <laughs> used to being single, used to being self-sufficient, used to being um, somebody who just does their own thing and doesn't ever have to answer to anyone. This person is just uh, has accustomed to this. And I feel like this big change and this contemplation that's happening within this person is huge because they're going from, uh, you know, however long they may have been on their own, even if they've been with others, they've always just kind of taken this energy of their mindset is like, oh, I'm just alone. Even when I'm with other people, I take care of myself, super independent, okay? And they also see you that way. And they also see you as being someone who's very determined to heal a relationship or to heal things in your life. Let's get a clarifying card for the Nine of Pentacles here. 
Okay. Four of Swords. Yeah, this person just does their own thing, retreats. Their mindset, like, it might all be that their mindset, they're always thinking about work. They're always thinking about their gains, their financial gains, their solo gains. Um, and the, at times I feel like they don't really have any room to spare in that peanut brain of theirs because all they can seem to think about is themselves and their gains and their needs. So with the Four of Swords, they have a tendency to just retreat a lot, okay? Retreat. Hmm. And sometimes when they retreat, they're, it's because they're in financial recovery. It's because they're trying to refill their pinnacle stores, refill their bank account, you know, like that seems to be mostly on their mind all the time. So this change for this person whew, is big, is big. I feel like they don't want to stay in a stalemate position anymore. Usually the two of swords when it's reversed is kind of stalemate, it's indecision and confusion. I feel like that may have happened in the past, but now that two of swords in the upright, this person's going within, trusting their intuition, really getting in touch with how they feel, um, blocking everything and everyone out to make this decision. It's it's like making it for themselves. What's best for them? What's best for you? What You know what I mean? It's mostly what's best for them, honestly. I mean, I will say their mind, the way their mindset is, they are self-focused they're very self-focused it's kind of like they may know what you might want in life or what you desire okay um but at the end of the day their decision is not solely based on what you want it's based on either also what they want but in their mind if it's right for them right and i don't really feel like there's anything wrong with that you know because it's being true to their being true to themselves um but I feel like they're at this place where it's time to make a decision now. Let's get a clarifying card for the Knight of Cups. Oh yeah, Ten of Swords. Because why? Because this relationship is coming to an end and they know it. And it feels like if they don't do something about this now, it's going to be done. They don't want it to end. That's the challenge is to keep it from falling apart. And the challenge is for them to surrender with love and um, either meet you halfway or make that offer to you. Okay. So the seven of wands in the near future, a lot of pushback, a lot of pushback with this person. Um, this energy presently feels, it's not really, I don't feel like they're taking action. I feel like presently they are just trying to get the courage up thinking about it and asking themselves, checking to see, are they, do they have the strength to um, give that unconditional love and to make that offer to you. But the seven of wands in the near future here, so this would be going into, oh, I feel going into September that this person, I mean, they're definitely gonna stand up for themselves. But it feels mostly like anyone that tries to push them into actually taking action, they're going to like get into their, their horse stance and not budge until they're ready to make this decision for themselves. So if it's you pushing them to do something or anybody else or society or the environment, it feels like this person is, you know, going to make the decision on their own here. The Ace of Swords overcoming some grief. Hmm. Oh, okay. So they may, you may have conversation with them, getting to know each other. And this person may tell you, or you guys might share some truths about maybe why you have individually held back on getting involved again, or why you're taking your time, or why this person's taking their time, is because of the Five of Cups. It's because um, this person wants to be sure that they will be fully loved, that they won't be abandoned. They have a great fear of abandonment, okay? A great fear of committing to someone and opening up and expressing their feelings um, and then losing you. 
okay or losing somebody they don't want to have any regrets and that's why this person it feels like they're they make a decision and they're very serious so this decision that they want to make in regards to you know being with you or coming towards you has a lot to do with they want to be a hundred percent sure because once they're in virgo once they make this decision once they give you that clarity and they speak that truth and they get into a position where this is a win for me they're not going to quit they're not going to leave they will be committed and loyal all the way through okay so i feel like if you've been waiting for somebody to come your way or if you've been dating someone, you know, however long, some of you, it's been six days. <laughs> you're like, okay, you're ready to go, aren't you? Six days or six weeks or six months or six years, whatever the time period is. <clears throat> Virgo, I feel like, I feel like because the Two of Swords is sitting in here in your advice, I feel like that's coming here because you've been impatient. And the Two of Swords, now listen. I just have to say something. If you've been waiting six years for somebody to make a decision about you, then you need to cut them off and block them. That's your advice, okay? If you've been waiting um, six months for someone to, if you've been waiting at all, extraordinary amount of time for someone to progress a relationship to even the smallest few yards forward, um, then it's, you know, it's like a football game. I mean, if we're going to watch a football game and, you know, it, we're only going to make it to like the 10 yard line and that's as far as it's going to go all four quarters, everybody's going to shut the TV off. And like this game sucks. It's not exciting. So there's a little element of excitement to progression. And I feel like your person is just such a, um, got to analyze it and think it through and sort it out first and, you know, look at all the data and try to figure out like the moves and three steps ahead and how it's going to look and what it's going to be. Bleh, bleh. There's, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like your person has a lot, a lack of spontaneity in um, romance. I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing because I feel like this person is very thoughtful and considerate. But I also feel like if you've been waiting an extraordinary amount of time, like you're going to have to call time on something. Now for others, if it really hasn't been that long, it really just depends on your situation. I feel like your advice here is to just kind of, I feel like sit tight. That's what I feel like. But you need to go in and do kind of a little bit of examining your own mind and heart as well and ask yourself is this truly is this worth it that's what i feel like and that might have something to do with you talking to some friends and i'm not talking about <coughs> don't go to people who have had really bad relationships okay and the reason why i say that is because they're just going to project their opinions onto you get professional counseling, get serious help, okay, with people who are, are not going to interject their personal motives or issues into your life-changing decision, okay? And even if you find someone professional to give you some guidance, make sure that they're not partial to anything. Make sure that they have a well-rounded view and they can give you really good guidance and don't um, force their opinion on you, okay? But I feel mostly, for some of you, there's this person is still trying to get to know you. So Virgo, some of you might be blocking this opportunity for this person to get to know you because you're closed up or you're not really opening your true authentic self up to them. And that's what the delay is. Now that's not for everybody, but you have to really examine your conscience and ask yourself, well, am I just withholding and waiting to see if they're just going to come forward and give me everything I want and then I'll open up to them? Or am I like, is that what some of you are doing? Because that could also be delaying the process. So if you're like cold as ice and you're not really giving this person any information, how are they going to know what to do here? right? So it's kind of like if you're going to go buy a house, I mean, everybody needs to have a walkthrough. 
or else who's going to buy the house? Unless you're living in a paper box on the side of the street, then yeah, I'll buy it. I'll take it. I don't need to walk through. <laughs> but I don't think any of you are in a desperate mode, are you? So for some of you, it may just be for you to open up a little bit here and reveal a bit more about yourself to increase that bond, to let that person know, um, hey, this is who I am. This is what's up, you know? Um, no. All right, let's take a look at this person's insides. Okay. They have a lot of they have a lot of anxiety. Okay. A lot of anxiety. I feel like the, this person really wants things to turn around and change and go in a good direction um, for both of you. Uh, I feel a lot of passion towards you, but they have a lot of stress. They they're, they're, even currently this person is stressing at night, having a hard time sleeping. They have these thoughts running through their mind maybe even nightmares or um, I don't want to say daydreams, more like night dreams where they actually purposely imagine the worst case scenario, okay, a lot of the time. And I feel like they really are trying to change that. Um, this person is, it feels like if, if you were to open up and, and give them the go ahead and get the wheel turning, they would turn that wheel and I feel like they would come rushing towards you, galloping pretty darn quickly. Galloping, uh, not, not horse racing, like the speed of lightning here, uh, but definitely galloping. This person stresses from some kind of a gambling addiction. Um, they have a real strong passion for, uh, this is a ton of, um, the 10. The Wheel of Fortune is the gambling card. So this person may have a, um, they have a real strong passion. It may not be addiction, but a real strong passion for gambling and they get very stressed out. Um, it causes a lot of anxiety in this person. I feel like this is just kind of a separate message in regards to them. Um, but they also have um, some luck on their side. I feel like this person has some good fortune behind them. Why are they, what else could be this Nine of Swords energy with them? Why is this person, oh, they're stressing about this Ace of Cups. They know that it's time. They know it's time. You know, the Ace of Cups is here and that energy is like kind of in their face and it's like love is here. It, they need to initiate, they need the courage, they need to take lead, they need to uh, have this new beginning with you and they're struggling with that right now. Um, it could also be, since they also have the Two of Swords, that both of you are a bit blocked and both of you are a bit kind of like, the, it's like, oh, like you guys know that there's true love here. But this opening up thing, very guarded. You're both very guarded. But you both know it's time. You both want this. You both want to make this decision to do this. But it feels like this person wants to make this decision because they know that if they don't, it's going to be over and they'll be defeated. And you want to make this decision because it's time for you. But also you're at a crossroad. You have a big decision to make whether or not you're calling time on this or whether or not you're going to open up to this person and just allow it to happen. Now, I do feel like the Ten of Cups is here, so I do feel both of you desire to have total love and support from each other, okay? Um, to have this contentment, this joy, this happiness, maybe a family thing together, blend the families um, connect the families, maybe even marriage, you know, but the cups all represent like absolute emotional bliss. Um, but there's also a fear that time is ticking and everyone either for some of you, everyone around you is joyful and happy in their relationships and families. And you guys are just kind of like, what the heck's going on? Um, nothing's happening or for others, it could be, I just heard, um, there, I just heard there's a fear. Uh, it's a, that's a very strange message. There's a fear of having, 
so much joy and bliss. It almost feels like not going for it because it would be a miracle. I kind of feel like too good to be true. Like, could this really be happening? Is this possible? There's a fear that it might be. There's a fear of success. My goodness. That's the strangest message I've ever had in a reading. I've never, I don't, in all the six years I've been here on YouTube, I don't think I've ever said that. A fear of it working out. <laughs> oh my goodness. A fear of things going well. Maybe because it's so valuable and special to you both that you would not want to lose it. So stalemate sets in. Hmm. That's a bizarre message. Yeah, so we hide. We keep our feelings within. We retreat. We don't share. We stay in this position. We're afraid to move it forward because it might actually work out. And we keep seeking truth. We keep seeking, um, and I'm speaking for the collective here, we keep seeking clarity that it might not work out so we withdraw okay messy messy stuff so the outcome queen of cups and the death card <sighs> okay i'm going to pull clarifying cards for this so some of you are going to end up with a water sign no doubt there's going to be total transformation and change and the past is going to get left behind and a new beginning is going to start Okay, absolutely. For some of you, there's going to be moving on from this connection and saying, well, somebody had to call time on this. Okay. Because of um, taking too long for some of you. Okay. Um, but there's also an energy of a rebirth here. Let's get a clarifying card for the Queen of Cups. Ha! There you go. Seven of Pentacles, yet again. As it was in the beginning, so it is in the future. Okay, some of you are going to make a decision. No, nope, you're not waiting anymore. It's too much delay. Calling time on this. I'm leaving. Okay? Or you both are. You both may decide that, you know... We have to do something because we're stuck, okay? We either got to transform this relationship into something and face our fears and let it be the best thing ever, or we got to just walk away, kill it, put death to this and move on, okay? But this has a lot to do with this Queen of Cups energy um, where I feel like you and or your person both going within and really getting healing and seeking support, being empathetic with each other, and really under, trying to understand the emotions of how you both truly feel. Not what you think, because what you think is correct, but what's keeping you both here is how you feel, okay? Your emotional thinking has you attached still. So for some of you, you've got a decision that you have to make here. Um, will you absolutely make this decision at the end here? going into like the middle of February, uh, February, goodness, September, maybe, maybe not. You may take more time to think about it. Okay. Let's take a look at this death card. There's a lot at stake here. I feel somebody here has a lot at stake. It could be the emotions. It could be family members, friends. It's a massive decision. Yeah, see, there's not enough information. Checking the emotions, making sure that this decision that gets made, um, whether to, you know, happily ever after or retreat and give up, the point is making sure the decision that gets made is a voluntary change based on the intuition. Um, because even trying to find unseen problems to navigate. I feel, honestly, Virgo, I feel like you and your person are very dedicated to one another and that when you both make a decision, um, you're alike in that way, right? That's, that's what the um, 
this is what the magnetic attraction is. You're both alike in the same way in that you're very cerebral and when you want to make a decision before you commit to something, you think it through. Okay, um, let me just get a clarifying card here for the Two of Swords for you. Hmm, King of Swords. Oh, and the Lovers. Okay, some of you this could be with a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, yeah, but this is definitely you taking, you know, if you're female, taking on quite a masculine role as far as communicating outwardly, being very strategic and intentional with a decision about going into partnership with this person or not. Okay. And your advice, you know, even if this is, even if it's not your past, this could be somebody new coming in that you meet, um, where I said that there may be a delay because somebody may not be ready or you may not be ready to go further. It's really important. Your advice here is to go within and, oh, sorry. Go within and trust your intuition in regards to what you really want, because this card is a six, this is harmony, and this is also self-sacrifice, loyalty, and responsibility. That's love, right? Being responsible for one another and accountable to one another. And you know that, but your question also might be, but do they know that? And is this person capable of meeting me halfway, right? So you got some big stuff going on here, Virgo. <laughs> um, okay, let's get some love messages here. Okay, I lost myself for a little while. All right. I love you unconditionally. So many things remind me of you. I look for you everywhere. I know that I crossed the line with you. Oh, Okay, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. That's interesting because I don't have the four of pentacles or the devil. So it may be the obsession is this relationship. Obsessed with what to do. Overthinking it for some in a negative way. Okay, the obsession is I can't get, you guys can't get your... Uh, you can't take your eyes off of each other or just obsessed with this relation. It feels mostly like preoccupied, too preoccupied with this relationship. Having, you're, I just feel a, a heavy stuck energy between the two of you. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. And I feel like some of you are really just trying to see that and question that if that's possible. You are safe and divinely guided and protected. So I feel like ask your angels, ask Jesus, ask uh, spirit for guidance and which path to go because you're, you're somewhat overwhelmed in regards to this. And I feel like you and another person are. You speak to me through music. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Wait, timing is not quite right. And I feel like that's the outcome here. Yeah, you know, your advice is to wait because more will be revealed to you as you wait. If you feel like you're not ready to make, there's an old saying, when in doubt, do nothing. Okay. Some of you may not be ready to make a decision yet, and that's fine. Just put it aside, give it to spirit, give it to the angels, let them work on it for a little while and see what they come up with. Um, but for others, I hear you while well, you've been waiting and you, you just want to put an end to this and go and find your bliss elsewhere. And that's fine. Again, it's a tarot card reading. It's guidance. You can do whatever you want. But do what's best for you. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, the first time we've ever seen this. So we have a pink rose. Okay, it's love. Some of you are gonna get a rose on your birthday sometime between, well, let's see, August 23rd and September 21st or 23rd, I can't remember. Um, yeah, there's a rose coming. Either you're giving one or you're receiving one, okay? That's nice. Or you're sniffing roses right now? Are some of you sniffing roses? Or putting roses somewhere? Very well, could be. Okay, cloud nine. They just said to me, cloud nine. Oh my gosh, 
these all go, these all tie in together. The smiley face, you're going to get a smiley, all right, some of you are going to get a text around your birthday. It's going to be one of those little emoji roses and an emoji smile face and a happy birthday. Um, some of you are going to feel like you're on cloud nine receiving that. Others are going to be like, really, that's it, just a text. Um, or you're going to be sending that to somebody. I personally think if you're in a romantic relationship with someone and it's their birthday, don't send them a text. Send them a card, give them a call <laughs> at, at the least, or send a gift, right? Because I just feel like that's cheap. Anybody can do that. Unless the person um, or, or you have no fingertips, you can't text, you got to use your toes, or you only get like you're in jail or you're at the bottom of the deep blue sea and your phone's like waterproof, then I think it's okay. Um, okay wow we've got a ram that looks like a ram aries energy here might be from an aries um but we also have i guess this is kind of like i'm not sure if that's like one of those skulls like a cow skull what the heck is this thing is this a ram somebody likes i just heard wait is that team los angeles rams if you're in la um a ram a ram Bullhead Taurus energy as well. Somebody's connecting with a Taurus. Okay. And then we also have a butterfly. So there's definitely transformation here. And I'm connecting that to the death card very much. Or there's, you know, you see that. I just heard somebody somewhere in the desert and there's one of these skull heads from an animal or something that somebody saw. Let's see what your uh, little extra advice for you. Uh, I almost said Aries. My goodness. Virgo. You know what's funny? The King of Wands or um, the King of Wands and the Emperor has not showed up in today's reading. So some of you might be done with those Aries people. <laughs> or um, the Fire, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Virgo's message here. Okay. You have the Ten of Wands. Working too hard or too many hours, Virgo, you're exhausted. You need to get balance back in your life. You need to ask for friends to help you. Let others help you. Here you go. Twice now. Okay. Let your friends help you. You may be suffering from some health problems due to stress or stress about this relationship is taking a toll on your physical body. Okay. But the Ten of Wands is always a card of having too many burdens. You're, you've got to release some of that. Empty that basket. You're coming up on the weekend. Um, just try to like, I don't know, sit somewhere on the beach, have a glass of wine, or if you don't do that, I don't know, eat some cake. Happy birthday. Just enjoy your weekend. Oh, here's strength again. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that you're stronger than you know, Virgo. Um, so it kind of feels like, I, I just, they just said, Under, tell Virgo to understand that the other person that they're connecting with is going through the same exact thing that Virgo is. You guys are mirroring each other with the Two of Swords. When you have compassion for yourself, you have compassion for that other person. I feel like that seems to be a really important thing at this time. Does that mean you got to be a doormat? No, compassion and kindness should never be mistaken for weakness. Those are not weak things. Okay, it's good to be compassionate and it's good to be kind because it takes strength to be that way. Courage and bravery, especially in today's world. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. And Virgo, that's what I said. Your emotional thinking is getting, in you, getting you into trouble. You need to kind of guard your heart. Put your emotions aside. Like assess them, label them, say, okay, this is how I feel. But make your decision based on intellectual um, challenges okay where they're well thought out there may be some sudden or unexpected changes coming very soon okay and there's going to be some options coming your way and you're going to need to review your options carefully all right virgo i hope you enjoyed that reading click the link in the description box below for a personal reading and i'll see you guys very soon don't forget to hit like and subscribe all right love you guys bye